Oh, hey, everybody. It's been kind of rough for me all lately, but, you know, nevertheless, I am still here. And so today, 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 we are going to cook on this great Sunday some crawfish. We're going to cook some crawfish tails. Yeah, we're going to cook some crawfish tails. What we're going to do to them, I don't know. It just comes as we go. Okay? That's okay. what we're going to do. Greg, you know my dad was going to have no vlogs. Oh, okay, so first thing I have to do, y'all, because these children don't yeah. do like I tell them. Put this on the table, ma'am. <laughs> I have to. I hate when I got to cook and I got to just do shit, clean up. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get the pots ready. Got to get the pots ready, y'all. That's what we're going to do first. I hate throwing over here. Ooh. Well, get this ready first, okay? Try something new today, y'all. Y'all keep subscribing and get y'all friends to subscribe and share. I'm almost at that thousand and I'm gonna be going live. Pull up. Go over there somewhere. You ain't got to stand right here to do it. Go over there and pull up some type of, see what they got for crawfish pasta, uh, some type of crawfish meal. I want to try something different. Y'all want to clean this damn kitchen last night. Last night I wouldn't have this to do. I don't like having to come clean up while I'm fucking trying to cook. I hate that. All right, y'all, so we're going to try to do something different today. We're going to do, because normally what I would do with these crawfish is, of course, you know, down south, everything is gravy and, you know what I'm saying, saute and all that kind of good stuff. But I would normally put a root to it, of course, bar, you know, broil it, let it cook down. You can add shrimps to the crawfish or there's a such thing called crawfish bits, which... Some people you you know the big word is biscuits, biscuits or some shit like that. Where you grind all of the crawfish up and you stuff the heads. And you have crawfish bits and then you can do crawfish balls. But we're gonna try some new shit today. I might end up doing crawfish balls. Who knows? That's probably what I might end up doing. But we'll see. You came up with anything yet, Jason?
So what I did, y'all, I pulled up, let's see. We got crawfish there to fail, which we already know about. Rice, crawfish, crawfish, fail. I do that too. I do a mean ass crawfish rice. Oh yes. Crawfish fettuccine, we know that. Let's see more recipes. Crawfish gumbo, we know that. Creamy crawfish dip. I don't want any dip. I want a meal. Classic crawfish into everything is into filled with the crawfish, but we know shrimp and crawfish jambalaya. Sounds like I would have to make some meat on the side of that too. So I did spicy crawfish, the Louisiana crawfish casserole. Let me see. I might do a casserole. Let's see. We're going to see what, what's happening with that. All right. And now it looks like something you would bake under the, in the oven. Okay. Let's see what's going on. And this is what it should look like, y'all, after we finish. All I got to do is look at it. I don't have enough cheese, though. To do this. this this requires a lot of cheese it requires a lot of cheese y'all look let me show you see it would look something like like that i don't have enough cheese so you know what wanda you know what wanda gonna do wanda gonna end up making some damn crawfish balls it's possible to look good but here I'm going to just do some balls. Yeah, I'm going to do some balls or something. Let me see. Let's see, y'all. Let me turn this water off. As if I don't pay a fucking water bill. Hold on. Let's check it out. All right. I got that. But these children know how to waste shit. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. They're going to eat some fucking food. I got the jambalaya. Y'all want crawfish jambalaya? Hmm? Would y'all want some crawfish jambalaya? Mm hmm And corn? Yeah, put corn. What about crawfish jambalaya, corn, and rice? You're talking about, like, corn on the side of it? And, and, uh, cornbread. And put strips in there too because it's going to take even better. What kind of strips? What are you talking about? I meant strips. Put a pack of strips in there too? Mm-hmm. All right, well, we're going to do the damn crawfish rice and shrimp. And I'm going to tell you all, normally what I would do is I would grind all my crawfish up and then mix all my seasoning in it, my fresh seasoning, which I don't have of that either. Like the gall. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep me some garlic. I don't have the celery. And... Did y'all did y'all buy the red, white? Let me see. Red and yellow, the bear peppers. She didn't get that, did she? I strictly told that girl to get me that uh mixture of uh bear peppers. Shit. That girl ain't bought not one bear pepper. Not one. Shit. Lord, I can't stand when I don't have season. I can't stand when I don't. They went in that store and bought every damn thing they wanted to do. That's what they did. What are you looking for? My Go sit down. What you ate this morning? Yogurt and strawberries. Okay. Well, what time is it? Because I'm watching what you eat. 10.48. Mm-mm. What time? Wait till 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. Drink water until then. I don't hear nothing else. Which one? Which one what? You said 11 and 12. Which one? I'm going to let you know. Drink water until then. Water. Plenty of water. Wait, shot I want to So, yeah, y'all. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook the crawfish tail. 
the jambalaya rice. Let me get some shrimps out here. They want shrimps in there. You're not listening. You're not listening. You are not listening. I specifically told you what to do. But you grabbing the strawberry because you see me grab one. Get your ass out and go drink that water. Bag of shrimp. Butter. Oh, uh, that's it. I should have I should have cooked okra. That's what I should have cooked. These strawberries ain't good. They hard. They're not sweet. They tangy. Mm-hmm. Other than that, people, what y'all been doing out there? I already know what's happening all day. I have a craziness. But we ain't gonna focus in on that. Mm-mm. We gonna do some cooking in here, but we ain't focusing on the bullshit. We gonna do some cooking. That's what we gonna do, folks. Oh my god. Okay, y'all. And then I gotta try to hurry up before Sister Girl wake up. Sister Girl sleep. So I gotta hurry up and cook before she wake up. <laughs> Or at least get it on the fire, you know? y'all people I just want to thank everybody that's been tuning into the channel it's gonna get better I just gonna have a lot going on right now and so call us Cox better go sit down I just gave them bitches four hundred dollars they better go sit down so damn let me see what I'm doing now Tell them one more time where my shit go at. And let them know put it there. When, you, when you're doing something, you know where to find your stuff at. You know where to find your stuff. Y'all already know. I'm going to cut up this garlic. I'm going to get the garlic going. And then I'm going to chop up the onion. And that is all the seasoning, fresh seasoning we're gonna be using today. All right? Cause I don't have no celery, which I love having. And I don't have no green onion. And I don't have no fresh pasta. So we're gonna use what we have, but it's still gonna be very, very, very tasty. Very tasty. See, this is when I wish I was live so we can interact, interact on different conversations. But I haven't posted a video since the last video with the young girl. Y'all do know I'm working on my uh, my organization with Brain Abuse to Light, MWP Mothers with a Purpose. 
I will be having shirts that I will be selling with my personal logo on it. And as soon as I can organize me a building and everything, and I have my first opening, it's going to be a blast. I'm going to have great people up there speaking on the panel, you know, and we're going to help save some people's lives by changing their mind, their train of thought. We're going to help some come out of a situation that they've, they've been in that they never thought they could come out of. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to be very supportive of one another in doing that. And so, you know, that's what we're going to plan to do. That is the plan, the great plan. I got a lot of other things that's going to be happening. Y'all just keep paying attention. My, I, I'm focused. There's always something that's going to interfere in your plans that will come up unexpected, but that's okay. As long as you remain focused with the little delays, it's okay. So, just ask that y'all continue to support, you know, and reach out and help, and we can see if we can reach out even, even further, and I mean truly save some lives. You know, that's what I would like to do for my people. So, it's been 17 minutes. I'm going to prepare all of this, you know, prep all of my seasoning. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at M underscore M underscore P9. Because I go live over there, which I'm about to do. You can follow me over there. That's M underscore M underscore P9. You know? There were about two or three videos that I deleted off of my page. Because, you know, I sit back sometime and I look at different things on YouTube. And it's going to do one of two things when you hearing or find yourself being involved in something that don't pertain to what you intending to do as a success. So, you know, I know y'all see a lot of cooking going on on my channel right now. But that's just to keep the consistency of having my channel to grow. You know, like just doing my basic network for myself. You know what I'm saying? Exposing myself. But my channel is going... I will have another channel with my grandkids because that was the first intentions, okay? But uh, I didn't want, you know, have foolishness of videos on my channel and then you scroll down a little another to another video and then you see you know something that's making sense so I want all my videos to make sense so that is why I deleted some of those videos because I was saying some shit in response to some ignorance that was taking place but that that didn't need to be on my channel you know what I mean so that is why I deleted a few of the videos if any of y'all following me you know went back to look for it or whatever that's why I didn't say I'm not gonna respond to people I just choose not to do it on you know this the channel that I'm doing positivity on you know not that the other one wouldn't be positive either but if I gotta respond to somebody I will you know and then y'all my grandkids they have this thing called Missing hearts. We got a lot of stuff going on. Well, we're going to be passing out the hearts to the children who could be, uh, you know, people that's involved, the children that's involved with being in foster care or not having parents in the home. You know, it's just a symbol of reminding them that they are still loved. They are very important in life, even though they don't have their mother or their father or both parents out of the home. 
And that idea and thought came from my grandkids because, you know, of this situation we're not having their parents, you know, in their life at this present time. So we just want to do a lot of things that can reach out to people that would be supportive and just reminding them that, you know, they are love and we know sometimes due to circumstances things happen and it and it affects it affects that person, the child, the parent or whoever it is. When you going through something, it, it sure has an effect to it. You understand? So that's what we gonna do. So listen y'all, y'all keep tuning in. I just want to come in here and do this right quick. I know y'all not going to see the whole complete of everything, but in the beginning of the video, I did explain what I would be doing. So, I'll be coming back to y'all. And until then, y'all be encouraged. Encourage yourself and somebody else. And just know that you are love. You are. And you are worthy. And you deserve nothing but the best. So, under the sound of my voice, if you're in a situation that's abusive and it's not allowing you to be you, you need to know that there is support and you can set yourself free. Okay, guys? I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye-bye.